Hey guys, Dr. Arlen Hill here with PaleoLifestyleDoctor.com. I wanted to share some information with you today based on some observations and some questions I get back or that I'm seeing more frequently from patients. And one of the things that I'm noticing is that individuals, as individuals are trying to improve their diet, um, one of the things that they do is they tend to take a lot of carbohydrates out of the diet. Now, in some scenarios, that's definitely an ideal thing to do is to get the carbohydrates down. However, the body tends to like moderation more so than it likes extreme. So just like we don't want to consume excess carbohydrates, we don't really want to completely eliminate the carbohydrates either. So it becomes very important, especially if you're trying to adhere to more of a paleo style of diet, to try to find some middle ground and to find some, some resources where you're able to consume carbohydrates but yet not consume grains, which most of us try to stay away from due to some of the problems with, those, with that particular uh, food category. Now, why is this important? Well, what begins to happen is that if we tend to continue to decrease the amount of carbohydrates that we consume, over time we begin to challenge our hormonal system, specifically our cortisol levels, because cortisol is what helps us bring our glucose levels back up, our blood sugar levels, it helps keep those stable and prevents us from dropping off. I always like to ask questions, do you, the question to my patients, do you wake up in the morning or, and are you still fatigued? Do you have a lull in energy in the afternoon? Are you waking up through the night? These are all things that are, that are examples of hypoglycemia along with the very classic indicators such as shakiness, brain fog, lightheadedness, these types of things. So anything we can do to prevent that and then to also prevent further hormonal problems we want to try to do, but that begins with the diet, with making the right dietary choices. So we want to set up a dietary strategy for consuming adequate carbohydrates so that we don't create that type of scenario. And again, understand when we're talking about carbohydrate consumption, that amount has to be tailored from individual to individual. But when we're looking at the forms of carbohydrates that we should be getting in, one of the areas we absolutely want to start in are going to be our starchy vegetables. So what I've got up here are a couple of the examples of, of some of the key starchy vegetables that we want to begin to look for that we want to try to work with. These are by no means the only ones that we want to, to utilize as a part of the diet, but these are good starting points. So I begin up here with the large squash. These are going to be things like your butternut, your acorn, your spaghetti squash, your carnival squash. Uh, the, the fall time of the year tends to bring a lot of these varieties of squash around. So you know, if you look in your grocery store, you'll find a lot of these available, not just through the year, but especially in the fall time. Beets, another good one. We tend to hear about sugar beets, but we're not really looking for just the sugar here. We're actually looking for the beets in their whole form. Uh, a couple of others here, turnips, rutabagas, jicama, some of the other ones, okra. Okra has numerous health supporting properties, also a, a good carbohydrate source. And then you've also got the ones that most people are familiar with when you think about this is going to be your yams, sweet potatoes, and potatoes. And again, I'm not advocating that you overconsume these things. I'm just advocating that you can utilize these things to help meet your carbohydrate requirements. Because these are, again, what are, what are we looking for as far as a, as a dietary source of carbohydrates? We're looking for something that we would easily find if we were out having to live off the land. Something that we would not pick up and eat that is, is refined in any way, shape, or form. Potatoes fit that scenario, but again, we're not saturating the diet with them. We want balance, we want moderation. The body likes an, a pretty even balance, not extremes one way or the other. So again, guys, just wanted to point this out, give you some information and give you some resources, some food choices that can help guide your uh, dietary selection. Uh, these, are, these will definitely help keep you out of being in a low uh, blood sugar state, help, help uh, soothe that afternoon lull in energy, it will help bring it back to a nice even kill in energy. So you know, look for these types of food sources, guys. Appreciate your time. Dr. Arland Hill with PaleoLifestyleDoctor.com. Thanks, guys.